Hey guys, this is Alexis Laura. You're welcome to the post. Today I'm going to be speaking to the UGSRC Secretary as parent, Papa AC Mensa. Hello, Papa. Hi, Alexis. Okay. So, could you please give us a brief introduction about yourself? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Dillis Judith for Father Sinatza. and a uh, level 3 handle student. I study BSc for me consumer science and aspire to be the next Elsa to general secretary. But one would ask, one motivated, it's the inherent it's the inherent passion I have to always, always want to serve and seek the welfare of others. I believe that serving others is a prerequisite for holistic development and so for every stage of my life, wherever I find myself, I take it upon myself to do so. Yes. And I'm also a very versatile person. I like hair, especially natural hair styling. I like African fabric. I like anything that has to do with creativity, especially with the fingers, cooking, those things are, are things that I have pleasure with. And then family, I'm a family person. And aside my biological family, I like to create family wherever I find myself. So basically that's all about Alright, all right. so speaking about your creativity, how are you going to fuse this in being an SRC secretary? Thank you very much. Creativity is in everything that you do. It's all about being imaginative about it. And, and the best way to sort that out is through my policies. I have policies that are intended to get students on board thinking creatively about things and how to get across to other students. But minding very well that the university community doesn't make up um, students here on main campus, but a Crescent campus, Kalibu campus, and even amongst the students' special needs. So we have, I have a policy like providing monthly newsletters. And the whole idea is to get students given their perspective of things that happen during a month. Okay, so even though we are keeping them informed, we're involving the students to come up creatively with stories, articles. And if we had a whole week or we had an artist coming around and the, uh, we had students participating in such activities, how do they see it? Do they see it as interesting? What more could you have wanted from but so, then, yeah. um, uh, That's why the university has a radio station covering all these things, stories. Are you trying to compete with the radio universe? Of course you not. Know. There's beauty about teamwork, you know. Not just to make sure that I'm not getting into another person's mind. But the truth of the matter is the constitutional demand of the SRC General Secretary and to keep the student body abreast of the current state of affairs of the SRC at least once a month. Okay, so that is not really universe's work. No, it's not. It's the work of the secretary. But just for the purposes of teamwork, it's okay that they do the radio, we also get ways of getting the people together. Because not everybody can make it for the radio anyway. So how do you get them involved on the ground level? Okay. So um, you being SRC secretary, how do you intend to empower women or ladies here on campus? How do you intend, in what, in what one of your policy, your Pentagon policy, is there empowerment for women or ladies you know, to have the voice to speak out? What plan do you have for that? Thank you very much. Alexis, I, I think you should understand that um, this portfolio regards has some specifications first that you have to deal with. Okay. Now, I yes, I'm a strong woman and a woman activist, but the, the, the idea you have to create is not that women are superior, but that they are excellent and complete in their own ways. This is why these portfolios are opened up for different uh, different genders. Okay, so I believe my even taking up this uh, position to run for this is enough empowerment for a woman. Not not um, regarding the fact that as an SRC we have periodic programs. Okay, so and being in that position, even if I have to speak or MC on such programs indirectly gets that thing. I, I just don't want it to look like you're in a community and you are in a position just to raise women. It's more like feminism. No, that's not it. We had the speaker conference, okay, and I believe that program was a wonderful one. One of the things I said was that, women, you're complete in your sense, in the sense of all, in everything, you're just holistic the way you are, and you don't necessarily mean that somebody asks up to you, but you should be conscious that we all make up the society, and that's the beauty of it all. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's basically it. And, and one of the criticisms about your pentagon series, there's something about uh, 
how are you going to get people to type the monthly newsletters to which student body would be interested in? I know when some really harsh it is how do you take that? How do you take that? Does it break your spirit down? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Maybe you should live in the world of society for some time. Okay, so I believe in one thing, that truth will always stand. And I think that students would some students will be gullible to it. Other people who have actually shown interest in the things of the ESRC will understand that it's vague. Because um, we have committees of the ESRC, and some of them are charged with information. So directly or indirectly, they help in the work of the secretary. You have the Publications and Information Committee that has the PR, the Public Relations Officer. It has an editor-in-chief. Now, they are also supposed to do with information, but on the social media level. So this is a good thing for them, getting students across and helping out. Now, the whole idea of that particular policy is that we're not going to hide human resource. We're going to use the resource within us, our amongst us. So it's not, uh, you see, if you don't know that we have committees, then you be like, yeah, so how is Robert going to do that? But if you understand that the SRC community, or executive community, is not just executive offices, why, why you mean that executive officers, president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary, but it makes up committees that complement this executive officer. It would be easier for you to understand. But as you said, these criticisms are just to push me to speak more about the policies and enlighten people. Because there have been a lot of apathy for some while, for a while now. So students won't take their time to show any interest in the activities of the uh, SRC. But for me, I think that it's a step in the right direction because it gives me an opportunity to also enlighten them on the issues of the What would you like to tell those out there, we know about, especially the news development? In general, I, just, I, I must say that thanks to all my supporters and those who have believed in me to this point, um, we need to get more people involved and especially to my level 100s, my dear level 100s. See, um, I know you're new to the system, but Fafa is assuring you that if you put this trust in her, she wouldn't let you down. I love you all so much. Come next week, Tuesday. Vote for Father ACS, next as a general secretary. And you never regret it. Thank you so much.